So do you have a Kindle and do you ever use the audiobook function? Well, I created a little pouch using the waffle stitch so that I can carry my Kindle around. Okay, so let me get right into this. I'm gonna do a waffle stitch and I did a tutorial not too long ago on how to actually do the waffle stitch, but if you don't wanna go back and watch that tutorial, I'll attempt to show you it here. Um, so basically what you're gonna do, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, but what you're gonna do is go ahead and make yourself a slip knot and place that on your crochet hook. Now for this project, I use a 6.5 milliliter, 6.5 um, crochet hook and I'm going to be using a double crochet stitch throughout the entire project. Well, I'll, I'll use a single crochet stitch to do the back paneling, but basically a double crochet stitch in a waffle, st in a waffle stitch pattern, okay? So what you're gonna wanna do um, is first, you're gonna make your foundation chain to the width of your Kindle. So in my case, I did a um, total of, let me see, 22. I did a chain of 22 and the key to the waffle stitch and the way I did it is you have to make sure you have an even number. So once you do that, once you get your foundation chain completed, you're going to um, insert your crochet hook in the second st stitch from the hook. So in the third stitch, you're gonna insert your crochet hook. And then you're gonna create a double crochet stitch. So you're gonna do for your very first row, after your foundation chain, you're going to do a double crochet stitch all the way down the row. And again, this particular tote that I created or bag or pouch is just designed to hold my Kindle because I tend to like to listen to audiobooks and um, I, I you know, still need to do things around the house. So I'll just pop the little Kindle in the little pouch and carry on with my day. So continue to make a double crochet stitch all the way down your chain and in my case I had 22 stitches okay now the waffle stitch is created in a pattern so you're, you're gonna rotate to, row two and row three throughout the entire project so once you get to the end of your foundation chain you're going to make a chain of three so just yarn over, pull through three times to get your found, get your um, turning chain. And this chain right here is actually your first stitch. So what you're gonna do, you're now in row two, you're going to yarn over, insert your crochet hook into that next stitch, and you're gonna end up doing a double crochet stitch. Okay, and then once you have that, we're gonna start our, our waffle stitch pattern, okay? So you technically have two double crochet stitches, you're gonna yarn over, and this right here is considered a post, and that's just the double crochet stitch from the um, from the first row that you created. You're going to insert the crochet hook behind that post. Okay, see how it looks there? You're gonna yarn over, pull back through. You have three loops on your crochet hook. Yarn over, pull through two yarn over, pull through the bottom two. So that is your double crochet stitch, but you're just doing it behind the post, okay? Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna do two double crochet stitches. So in the next two stitches, you're going to put two double crochet stitches. So double crochet stitch here, then in the next stitch, you're gonna do another double crochet stitch, okay? Now we're going to do another front post stitch. Now, if you don't know how to do a front post stitch, watch here. I'll also link in the video another tutorial on how to do that. So that's your post. You're gonna insert the crochet. After you yarn over, you're gonna insert the crochet hook behind the post, pull up a loop, pull through two, yarn over again, and then pull through two again. I'm gonna show you that again, but keeping in the pattern, the next thing that we're gonna do is two double crochet stitches, okay? so. You're gonna have two double crochets, a front post, two double crochets, a front post, two double crochets, okay? It looks like my camera's a little bit out of focus here, but just know you're going to be doing another double crochet stitch. Okay. So now I'm gonna show you again how to do the front post stitch. You're gonna yarn over, 
insert the crochet hook behind the post. Now make sure when you pull through again, you give yourself a little tug to make sure that there's not a, you know, too much tension there. You want it to be loose um, because you don't want your work to kind of gather up on you. And then you're going to do another two double crochet stitches. So this is how you do row two. And then when I show you how to do row three, you're just going to repeat row two and row three through the entire project. Okay. And again, this pouch, you could use anything to make a pouch. I just wanted to show you guys a new stitch and then also show you how to use it in a project. Okay. And I don't know if I told you, this is a um, five bulk yarn, but again, the yarn doesn't really matter so much. This is just what I had on hand. Um, it just makes sure you do a corresponding hook to the yarn that you choose, okay? Once you get to the end of the row, when you have one more stitch left, so you're gonna go ahead and do your double um, front post double crochet. Guys, I'm sorry, it looks like my camera got a little bit blurry, but it's okay, it's not gonna stay like this for the entire video. It just looks like it's a little blurry to me in the playback. I'm not sure if it is to you. Okay. In the very last stitch of the row, and I do this through the entire project, I'm going to always end with a double crochet stitch. So um, that's how I made mine consistent. So even though I have, you know, you'll see a little bit further along, but I always end with a double crochet stitch. Okay. Chain three and then turn your work. Okay, now we're on row three. Okay, so let's do the other pattern. So you did your chain three. Now you're going to go into the very next stitch and do another double crochet stitch. Okay, so now essentially you have two double crochet stitches. Yarn over and then you're gonna do two front post stitches back to back. So go ahead and do another front post stitch. Okay, so we're doing a front post double crochet stitch. Again. Okay, and now we're going to do one double crochet stitch. So you see how it's a little different from row two. This time we're doing fruit two front posts and then one double crochet. Okay, so you see that? Now we're going to do two front post stitches. This is really the trickiest part of the project. It's just remembering which row you're on, whether you're going to be doing two front posts or one front post. So kind of keep that in mind as you're working your projects. And of course, this is a really little pouch, so it's not going to be a lot of thinking for me. But if you were going to do like a blanket or a scarf or something like that, you'll want to remember, or kind of maybe keep a note of what you're doing. Okay, and then you're gonna do two front post stitches. So you did one and now you're doing the other one. And then you're gonna do one double crochet stitch. And I sped this up just a little bit because I feel like I've done it a few times on camera, but you can always slow down the video or just kind of rewind it back so you can see it a little bit slower. I just didn't want to um, stay on camera because we are going to construct the bag, um, the tote at the end, and I want to make sure I have enough video of that too, okay? So here we have one front post stitch. Now remember, we're at the end, so we're going to go ahead and just put a double crochet stitch in the last stitch, okay? Right there. So we're not going to put a front post stitch at that very end, even though te technically we would do two. We're at the end of the row, so we're gonna do one double crochet stitch. And this is how I was able to keep everything kind of even and um, neat, okay? So other patterns might say to do something differently. This is what I did. So do a chain of three, turn your work, and now we're gonna do a repeat of row two, remember? So we just did row three. Now we're gonna do like a repeat of row two, even though we're going up in rows. That makes sense, okay? So insert your crochet hook and do a double crochet stitch. So you have two double crochet stitches. Now you're gonna do a front post stitch and then you're going to do two double crochet stitches. And just repeat the pattern and that's it. So I'm gonna let you continue to work 
and if you do, if you have any questions just make sure you kind of go back I'll try to put time markers in the video so you know where row two is and row three is so if you have to go back and look at what I was doing you can see that but just continue working the pattern rotating between row two and row three until you get to the desired length that you're looking to have okay And this is what it's starting to look like. And the more you work it, the more you'll be able to really see the waffle pattern, okay? So that's what it should look like. And I'm just going to fast forward and show you. Okay, now listen, guys. This is the back panel of the pouch. And I lost the video footage of it, but basically it's just a, a single crochet pouch, okay? That's all that is. And so measure it to make sure it's the same um, width and length as the front so that it fits your Kindle and just do a um, single crochet stitch. So, sorry about that, I lost the footage in, in editing and I didn't wanna have to go back and refilm all of it. So, now I'm just gonna show you how to construct the bag. So we have the front paneling, which is the waffle stitch that we just completed, and we have the back paneling, which was the um, single crochet um, swatch, okay? This is me creating the strap. This is a very simple strap. And essentially, if you follow this, you'll know how to do the, um, the paneling that I lost so basically I'm gonna do a strap and now my strap is really based on how long you want the Kindle to hang by your side so that can vary based off of your height and your comfort level so all I'm doing is I'm going to do um, a chain of however long I can't remember what I did but I will put it in my blog um, with the written instructions on how long my strap actually was but you're just gonna do a chain of double crochet stitches Okay, and if you want it to be thicker, then just do two rows of double crochet stitches. I just did one. Okay, so that's what my strap looks like. And just remember, um, the yarn will stretch, and the Kindle is a little bit heavy. It's like three or four pounds, even that. So it's going to cause it to stretch some too. So just keep that in mind. So that's going to be sewn into the bag, and I'll kind of show you how I did that. Okay. So using stitch markers, which I love to use, I just kind of put the bag together. Okay, and then I inserted my straps and I brought them down about an inch or so, um, just so that I make sure it doesn't slip. And then I'm gonna secure that with a stitch marker. And when I go to sew the bag together, I'm going to sew the um, strap to the front and back so I'll kind of show you kind of show you okay so you see that there I have basically three layers so when I insert my, cro my, my yarn needle I'll make sure I go through all three layers and then I'm just going to sew all the way around the bag leaving the top area open okay and I'm not going to do all that on camera but you get the point there okay When I did my back panel, I left a long piece of yarn so that I could just use that to sew around. And that's an option too. So that way, um, that wasn't on camera, but that's all I did. I just left a really long piece of yarn so that I was able to sew up the project. Okay. And once you get it all sewn up, this is what it's going to look like. So you have yourself a little pouch. And on any strings, you just cut those off see it looks there it's really tidy and secure and that will allow me to insert my Kindle and be more productive during my day so if you have any questions about anything of course you don't have to use this for a Kindle you use it for whatever you want but this is what I did if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section down below please be sure to um, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell that's a new thing where you know that I posted a new video if you're interested in that Okay, if you guys have any questions, please be sure to check me out on Instagram if you have um, access to that. Or head over to my blog. I'll have written instructions there as well. So again, thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.